is a Bramble Jam podcast. It's Thursday, November 12th. You know what you need to do. What? Take that day off. Hey, everybody. I switched from robot wave to actual wave like you're in a crowd. I did a uh, like a lead singer getting everybody in the crowd to wave their hands Going. left and right. And then you saw somebody you, in the crowd? Yeah, yeah. You see them? You're like, yeah, yeah you're yeah. doing I it. I see you. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Take that day off on a Thursday. A Thursday, everybody. Let's it's go. good to be back after yesterday's uh, day off to mm-hmm. honor the veterans. It was nice to get a little bit of a reset. It I, was I absolutely, slept in, for sure. It was absolutely nice, yeah. but it's good to be back. It's good to hear our voices again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's really why we do this pod. Yeah, to We're hear really, our voices. I mean, when you got voices like these. Yeah, silky smooth. S- sweet, sweet voices. That's that right. Always say the right things. Mm-hmm. Never mispronounce. Synonymous. 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 Hey, I can make synonymous. Synonymous. I can make that sound good. So, I mean, come on, it's pretty great. Hi, everybody. Uh, it's great to see you. Great. Uh, it is. You might be wondering how can I take the day off? Uh, I'm ready. I'm willing. I'm able. <laughs> um, and the answer is this: It's National Happy Hour Day. Oh. It's National Happy Hour Day. Uh, so we're going to get to that in just a second. Come on. <laughs> but before we do, have you heard about Bramble Jam Plus? I have. And what it has done for you. And I think your relationship with those around you. Yeah. I, I, I am crushing it right now because of Bramble Jam Plus. People <laughs> like me more. That's they true. didn't like me at all. And now they tolerate me a little bit because I signed up for Bramble Jam Plus. That's My true. podcasts are ad free. I'm a little less grumpy because I don't listen to That's the right. ads anymore. You can go up the ladder for extra bonus content. Uh, you can get uh, some swag and all kinds of fun stuff. And it's all I, I have Bramble Jam Plus to think. My wife's let me back in the house. It's unbelievable. My kids want to hang out with me. It's crazy. What happened? I, don't, I was just, I, I don't know. <laughs> But Bramble Jam Plus fixed it. Amen. Amen. People don't understand. I don't think people have fully realized yet the power of the plus. The power of the plus. The That's power the, of the plus. I was going to go Huey Lewis. That's the power of plus. The bat. Don't take money. Don't take fame. I want to no see a. Actually, it does take a credit card to ride this train. I, I yeah. I want to hear a mashup of the Great Adventure and yeah. the Power of Love. Started out this morning. The Power of Love. Yes, I would do that. Yeah, I would listen it. to that, please. Bring it. Um, Bramblejumpplus.com is how you do that, though. Yeah, and yeah. It's yeah, uh, really easy. It's really really easy. So please. For the love, do that, please. Please do that, please. Um, hi, everyone. Hey. It's a National Happy Hour Day. It's not just happy hour. It's happy hour day. A full day of happy houring, yeah. if you will. You, you um, can't go to work for this. You got to take the day off and start that happy hour off right. Not necessarily the alcohol, but start it off right. I don't partake in happy hour very often because I am convinced that I'm haunted. Um, the last time that I went to a happy hour was last uh, year, almost to the day. I was with my friends and we all went out to happy hour. Yeah. I had not had a drink yet. I ordered. You hadn't had one. Not a I had not had a, had a single. I had a couple of waters, but yeah. I had not had a single drink yet. I ordered a Carrie Underwood on the rocks. Yeah, classic Carrie. And they said, sure, here it comes. And I'm sitting there and I hear, this is not the first time this had happened, by the way, mind you. This Every time I go to happy hour, this happens. Over my shoulder, in my ear, I just hear, Dan knows about National Happy Hour Day. And it, and this not the you said this not is the not the first time. first time. Every time I go to happy hour, this happens. I'm convinced I'm haunted. Only in regards to happy so hour, why I have you not tell been me about the first time. Like I don't want to hear it now, but it's weird that that would have happened multiple times. This wasn't the first time. It happened on a, it happened for the first time on a trip to Selma, Alabama. I'm sorry, um, Salem. Yeah, I'm about to say That's Selma is a civil rights <laughs> yeah, no, no, landmark. Salem, Salem, Salem. <laughs> <laughs> it's happy hour day, baby. <laughs> Let's go. I was I was in Salem. 
Uh, do you know about National Happy Hour Day? Sure. Why not? So uh, the ghost it, is correct. It, it dates the back. The ghost of me. Uh, to the late 1800s in, of all places, Salem. If Salem? You can believe it. Yeah, it's in Salem. Ah. Salem, Oregon is where it was. <laughs> um, uh, there was a bar- bartender named uh, B- Boots McGruff, and Boots McGruff uh, had a hard time getting patrons to his Boots bar. Boots McGruff. Uh, was it because um, he smelled really, really bad? Maybe. Was it because... Uh, he was a racist. Yes, it was also because of that. Was it because his bar only had two stools, both of them, you know, not super comfortable? Yes, it was. So he invented this thing called happy hour Well, where, where you could come to Boots' bar in Salem and your drinks were free. They were free drinks. Wow. Now, he was giving away free drinks. It did get people in the door. They ignored the racism and the, the uncomfortable chairs and the smell for the free drinks. But it got out of hand, as oh, you can no. imagine. Uh, and Boots' bar burned to the ground. Um, Boots was in it when it happened. Uh, and in honor of that f- racist finally dying, they created National Happy Hour Day. That's the, that's the end right there. We did it. I will say that is as good a reason yeah, as uh, I could find. Um, happy Hour, Dan, was born in 1913. I don't know. Uh, the U.S. Navy actually began celebrating happy hour, an evening celebration filled with alcohol, dancing, with and without ladies, and onboard boxing. That was happy hour. Okay. Um, and then a happy hour began to, uh, with alcohol being outlawed in the 1920s, folks uh, opt to conduct their drinking before dinner rather than after when the effects of having a cocktail were less uh, obvious, if you will, yeah. like less, you know, too, too much, too much, too soon situation. Yes. Uh, then happy hour of specials, specials as we know them, uh, began popping up around uh, 1940s, 1950s, uh, because the economy was booming after World War II. Businesses uh, are anxious to capitalize on the population's newfound wealth, and so uh, get, let's get people more and more drinks. And um, and uh, the rest is history. Have you my been, like legitimately, like, are you, do you ever go to happy hours just to go and drink? Uh, I have. I've not been to many of my like. I've been many a times to places and gotten a drink on a happy hour special, like because I'm there eating before seven. But like, I just never grew up and like went to a lot of just happy hours. Just like, oh, we're going here for happy hour, and then just go somewhere else to eat. I just never. It just wasn't my thing, really. Yeah, I would say I don't go out of my way to go to happy hour, but I will always uh, take someone up on an offer for a happy hour special. Yeah, if somebody's Especially asking. when it's yeah, food yeah, yeah. related. Yeah, I yeah. love happy hour food specials. Dude, the best is when they have the drink specials and then they have like the half price apps. Yeah. I mean, come on. Half off apps are where you know, it's at. If I can get cheap drinks and two dollar cheese sticks forget about it in for forget that. about it uh which i think is the proper price for cheese yes. sticks cheese sticks yes. are overpriced but delicious uh we asked you yesterday i'm sorry on tuesday what is your go-to happy hour drink we got some doozies here. we're gonna get to those answers here in just a second but first we're gonna take a quick break we will be right back here on take the day off <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Take the day off. It's happy hour day, uh, which means all day today is happy hour. So take take that day off. We're starting early, uh, 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Already just blitzing. Uh, <laughs> what? We're blitzing? We're blitzing. We're in the middle of a blitz. We're in the middle of a blitz. It's a blitz. It's a blitz. It's a blitz. <laughs> Happy hour day. We asked you on Tuesday. What's your, go- what's what's your, your go-to, go-to drink, Brain? Is it a hard root beer if they have it? <laughs> Okay, so first of all, I don't need your snark. Yes, I will always take a hard root or beer a cider. or a cider. That's right. But uh, again, referencing Big Three, for those of you that are members Not of about people. Uh, Deck the Homework Plus and uh, Bramble Channel Access, um, I've been really into chocolate martinis. Yeah, this is a, a true story. It sounds like a fake take the day off story. It's a true story. I went over to your house yeah. to give you something that I had bought for you. Yes. And you met me outside. We live three houses apart, three doors down here with that. And, uh, <laughs> and, and you had a glass in your hand. I did. And I know that it's COVID. We do take COVID very seriously, but Brandon and I are on a quarantine together. Uh, his family, my family, 
it's a quarantine situation. We we don't we all see each other. So if one of us gets it, we're all pretty much in trouble. Um, you had a glass. Also important to note, I had not sipped yet. Okay, sure. Well, I don't, think. I don't know how that's any more or less important because you're going to sip it after I did. Of course. And you said, hey, try this. This is not a take the day off. This is a true story. And you had made a chocolate martini. My wife did, yeah. And I my stu- I almost threw up on the way home. Like okay. I literally, it it's just that weird combination of sweet and booze that just is the worst. You love it though. Vodka, chocolate liqueur, Bailey's, chocolate syrup, milk. Oh, guys, come on. Oof. Guys, y'all are with me on this. No. I can't be alone. No. Uh, it's not as bad as what Dan uh, Dan Higgins is over there drinking a buttery nipple. Why, Dan? <laughs> Why are you, of all the things to answer, you do not. Dan, Dan, Dan. you do not. No. Don't even try right, to tell yeah, me. Come on, Higbones. Dan, that you had a long day punching the clock, and you saddle up to that bar and and. and <laughs> And put a little stamp on it and go, hey, one buttery nipple right down this way. If you I am not there staying no unless I way. get my hands on no, a buttery nipple. Not happening. No. Um, not I happening. personally, I like a really expensive single malt, which I never, ever would order out ever. Um, Maker's Mark and and like ginger ale. I, I like like a crown and ginger or something like that, like a bourbon and ginger. Uh, or just like a, a nice beer, just a, a medium bodied beer. No stout or porter or anything. Just either any, on tap. Like any of those are fine. I, I, I'm an easy, easy, easy man when it comes to that stuff. A lot of our answers are margaritas. A lot. And some people Do you ever sure, head over to Margaritaville? I do not. I mean, if I'm on like vacation in Mexico, but other than that, if I'm going to have one, it's how Elizabeth Lennon orders hers. It's a jalapeno margarita. You give me a little jalapeno flavor on the back end of that, all in for that. Um, but several people are like traditional margarita on the rocks. They don't want the frozen brand. They don't want the frozen margarita. They want the no, traditional of course. margarita. A lot of people say that. Tinder Daddy uh, says that his friends introduced him uh, at the Swordfish Cocktail Club in downtown Greva, which I... Yeah, didn't know it was a thing. You got to pay. So, so you got to pay. Yeah, it's so a club to, to enter. Yeah, I believe so. I'm not fancy like yeah, no, that. No, no, no. Introduced him to a little drink called the uh, uh, Corpse Riviere Number no. Two. It's a gin cocktail, and it uh, is citrusy, floral, and so easy to drink. Sounds like a Tom Collins. Maybe it is. Uh, Melinda has the answer of the day, though. Um, she says probably a glass of wine, although at one time it was a Tootsie Roll. Now, I've never heard of a Tootsie I Roll. I like Tootsie Have you? Rolls. Let me see but, that Tootsie Roll. <laughs> uh, a Tootsie Roll <laughs> is Kahlua and orange juice mixed at a one-to-one ratio. I just threw up. I, that sounds just awful. My brother mm. likes a uh, orange juice and vodka. Yeah, that's a screwdriver. Screw that's driver, a normal yeah. thing. Like, that's the thing that I've heard of. This sounds... Mark, oh. Mark might be drinking one right now. Who knows? Oh. Uh, Rena gets it a hard cider. Thank you for that. Yeah. Um, and uh, Anna, bourbon with a splash of water. I feel like bourbon drinkers yeah. would be offended by that, though, right? No, some... Like, if you, you just splash Scott, it? Uh, some people do scotch and water. Some people do scotch neat. Some people do scotch with one. I do one ice cube in my scotch, which a- turns into a splash of water. Erica uh, did a good old rum and coke. I love a good rum and coke. Genevieve rum and says coke, water. I have never had any alcohol. Wow. Never kudos to any. you. Man, that's unbelievable. Gina says gin and tonic extra limes. Okay. I will say I could never drink again and I would be fine. Like it's not something that yeah. I love and that like... No. Uh, like after a long day, I'm like, boy, I need a good one. Like doesn't do anything for me, yeah. but it's, it's I'm fun. not a like every night. Like I just, it is what it is. I, I like a good draft beer, but I very rarely order them out because they are too expensive. Are you a neat or an unneat boy? Um, when it comes to uh, life s- scotch, I'm on the rocks. No life. I'm a rock. I'm on the rocks. Rocky. Uh, sure. Jameson sour. Jameson I'm not a sour. sour guy. You don't like the sour mix? Don't like the sours. Better than that like whatever chocolate thing you're doing. All right. Um, again, Dan, I don't need to see the words buttery nipple. No, Dan, this early. come on. It was mean. Ooh, it was blood cool. orange margarita. That sounds delicious. Blood orange. Christian right. Chambers says sweet tea always. Sweet tea always. Always. Never something else. Always I, sweet I've tea. I've never... 
gotten into. I know, and I know, like I live in South Carolina. But you're not from. You're, you're I'm not from here. here. Yeah, but you don't really like the tea. Sweet tea's never mind. I will drink it if no, if they don't have anything else. But sweet tea's like never it. been like my. Oh my gosh, I love a good sweet tea. I, I don't like, like it. Uh, we did it, everybody. Take the day off. Have some drinks. Have some water. Whatever you want yeah. to. But it's happy hour day all day. You're taking tomorrow off anyway. That's exactly well get right. That, keep that happy hour going. Tomorrow, um, we are going to read some letters to childhood crushes. Ooh. And there's a reason for it, which we're going to get to tomorrow. But that's all for today. We have reached the end of this yes, road. Yes, we have. And we're going to go to the Palaha coup of yeah. the day. And we'll be back tomorrow here on Take a Day Off. Everybody have a great day. Hey, Take it away, Christo. Bye -bye. Man, what a strange year. Summer solstice came and went with a little ado. Have a great day, everyone. You know, the fact that he salutes the exact same every time, that's how you know he's an actor. He's a true pro. He never screws it up. It's what was the, the last finger. acting job you've gotten, Rick? You know, I was on the Days of Our Lives Short version. Short version? Yeah, everyone in the show is short. <laughs> what network did I have? Five, six or under. You mind your own. <laughs>